Okay, uh, let me show you uh, how uh, tolerance in days in PM scheduling affects to um, our forecast process. So, uh, for example, we have work order uh, for asset number test 10, and uh, this work order um, must be start at 18 February. And uh, let's see how it's affect to our uh, forecast process. Uh, so we have uh, PM schedules here, and uh, we have uh, the same situation like a lead time in days example, uh, and. Uh, except interval per day is so set it for five for some reason mm. and uh, there is no tolerance in days value in this field and uh, let's see how it works uh, let's press simulate and uh, as we see we have uh, three uh, three row, three lines, uh, first one a level, 11, mm, then no action, our manual uh, work order that uh, can't be rescheduled, and next one uh, for 21. Okay, uh, let's set tolerance in days on uh, three and save and simulate as we see uh, no action uh, was taken mm. the reason is uh, tolerance in days uh, allow us to use this uh, manual work order as uh, next maintenance because it fits uh, for this value tolerance in days. Uh, as forecasting, it will be on 21 and uh, it uh, allow us to use it as ne next maintenance. If we set uh, for two days, for example, save and simulate, uh, it will be create another one uh, work order because it not fit, uh, not in gap tolerance in days of two.